Today we're talking about the molecule that may be the most important factor in your health, your hydration, and your personal evolution. We're talking about hydrogen. In Latin, hydrogen means the creator of water, hydrogen. And I really see it as the creative essence, the lively spirit of water itself. And the more hydrogen is in your water, the more hydrating it is. But the type of hydrogen and the source of it are very, very important. So I'll tell you right off the bat, I do not support methods of electrolyzing, reducing, and ionizing your water through ele using electricity. That's like electrocuting the water just to free its spirit, its hydrogen, and frankly, it destroys the molecular structure. That's the most common way, but there are much better ways, and I'm going to share those with you at the end. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can use the timestamps to navigate and skip around to whatever interests you the most. We're gonna start off first with the basics of what is molecular hydrogen. So think of the Hindenburg, think of the sun, right? It's pure energy. And as Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Albert St. Georgie said, hydrogen is the fuel of life. Now this was true back in the primordial soup when according to chemist Stanley Miller, hydrogen played a pivotal role in creating the very first life forms and evolving them into single celled organisms. And it's equally as true now in your body in every single moment as your cells convert hydrogen into energy through a process called ATP synthase. Hydrogen has excess electrons and so your cells can use it as a literal hydroelectric energy. Now there have now been thousands thousands of studies on hydrogen for over 170 different disease pathways and they all point to one fundamental conclusion overall hydrogen is a panacea if not the panacea one thing that is beneficial for everything and it has these profound biological effects because it's been intimately involved with the origin of the universe the genesis of life and the evolution of both plant and animal cells since the very beginning as professor harlow shapley of harvard said in the beginning, hydrogen. Shapley believed that through hydrogen, natural laws, and time, one could trace the origin of absolutely everything on the periodic table, and therefore life itself back to hydrogen. So the whole process of evolution, the very driver of life and energy throughout the universe, and in your very own body, is hydrogen. Now evolution isn't just something that happened in the past, it's a natural process that we can continuously choose to engage in and participate with as we grow and become healthy and more vibrant and more vital when we partner with the hydrating wisdom of water and the healing energy of its spirit, hydrogen. Now, different kinds of water have different types of hydrogen in different amounts. So, for example, some of the most healing spring water in the entire world at sacred sites, which have been revered as miracle healing springs, where pilgrims travel from around the world to drink holy water, where countless people have been cured of various ailments naturally. These waters tend to have the highest levels of naturally occurring atomic and molecular hydrogen. Like, for example, in Norteno, Germany, in Tlacote, Mexico, in Hita Tenorioso, Japan, in Nodana, India, just to name a few. And of course, I'm sure you're already familiar with the Lord's France. Essentially, every organ and system in the human body relies on hydrogen for its hydration, energy production, and antioxidant detoxification processes, which is why it's so universally beneficial. And one of the most important of the thousands of studies that have been done on hydrogen came from Loma Linda University in 2013. And they found that hydrogen has marked therapeutic potential to help with all of the top eight fatality causing diseases listed by the CDC. These are cardiovascular, respiratory, cerebrovascular, Alzheimer's, diabetes, malignant neoplasms, influenza and pneumonia and nephritis. And this is partially because it's such a potent antioxidant. Now, unlike supplemental antioxidants, which we'll talk about in a second, like vitamins C and E, which scavenge all the free radicals that they touch, Hydrogen is actually a selective antioxidant, and this term was created by scientists just to describe hydrogen because it's so unique, it displays an incredible level of intelligence. So this is where it gets kind of crazy. Hydrogen only scavenges the most cytotoxic or cell damaging free radicals when they're out of balance. All of the other free radicals, like, and, and oxidizers like nitric oxide that your body needs, hydrogen doesn't neutralize because of course oxygen radicals are also beneficial when they're in balance. They can act as signaling molecules and your body needs some of them. You don't wanna fully antioxidize everything. Oxygen is, is good. Oxidizing things can be good. You just want balance. And hydrogen intelligently and selectively curates that balance within the aquarium terrain of your bio water. So hydrogen water, molecular hydrogen enriched water is far more effective than taking any other antioxidant supplements. First off, it has rapid diffusion. So consider the fact that it's the smallest molecule in the entire universe, H2 molecular hydrogen. It's just two hydrogen atoms, which are the smallest atoms. 
two electrons and two protons. It's neutral, and so therefore it's hydrophobic, and this means it's able to get through the cell membranes really, really easily, as opposed to other antioxidants, and there are no byproducts in the body. So when it neutralizes these free radicals in the body, it just produces H2O, water. So when you drink hydrogen-infused water, like the water from the Lord's Hydrofix or from the Spring Aqua Wet 7, which I'll tell you about in a little while, you can find both of them on waterislife.shop. Whenever you're putting pure H2 in your body that can penetrate the cell membrane and basically convert oxidative stress into water. Hydrogen, remember the creator of water. So it turns inflammation, which is the most harmful thing to your body, into hydration, the most healing thing for your body. In fact, across the board, its effects are solely beneficial without any negative side effects. This is part of what makes it a panacea. And that's because, again, it's the universal fuel of life. Whereas vitamins and supplements are very isolated, our bodies function best with a broad spectrum form of healing, a selective antioxidant. And hydrogen is definitely broad spectrum. Taking vitamin and supplement forms of antioxidants becomes kind of irrelevant if you drink molecular hydrogen enriched water or breathe in molecular hydrogen gas, because hydrogen is what regulates the antioxidant production in our body. It can activate what's called the NRF2 pathway. It increases the production of superoxide dismutase, glutathione catalase, and oxygenase, all of which are extremely cytoprotective. Basically, in essence, the body has its own intelligent antioxidant self-defense system that regulates and controls redox homeostasis. And that system runs on hydrogen. Hydrogen also acts as a novel signaling molecule because under the right conditions, Hydrogen can alter the level and activity of over 200 different biomolecules in the body. In other words, hydrogen is the master conductor. It is the intelligent healing force that helps your body to know exactly what to do to bring itself back into balance. It is what makes water hydrating, and you are a body of water that runs on hydrogen fuel. So for example, take the study comparing hydrogen to vitamins C and E in the context of testicular oxidative stress. On graph B, you'll see the one on the bottom, we have T, which stands for testosterone. So first we have the control, and that's the normal range that you want to be at. And then you have oxidative stress, but no treatment. And you can see that testosterone levels plummet. And then when they get hydrogen, when they get the hydrogen gas, it brings it back up. So hydrogen gas gets the testosterone levels right where they need to be. But when you gave vitamin C and vitamin E, which people commonly take as an antioxidant supplement, the improvement wasn't nearly as significant, and they demonstrated the same thing with sperm motility and sperm concentration. Now again, hydrogen gas showed to be the best antioxidant in this case. A similar finding was observed with the effects of vitamin C, vitamin E, and hydrogen on placenta. However, if you go and look at the study, it was shown that vitamin C and E, although they did have comparatively minimal benefit, they actually suppressed cell viability. So the cells were not living as well with vitamin, with vitamin antioxidants as compared to with hydrogen, which has no negative side effect. Vitamin C and E also had the drawbacks of increased immune responses, tumor necrosis, factor alpha, and other problems, whereas hydrogen gas didn't have any of this. In fact, it has no side effects at all. It only ever has a beneficial effect on the body in general, and specifically in this study on HCG. So now that you've seen a bit about how hydrogen functions at a chemical level, let's dive into some of the medical and clinical applications that have been discovered. Now remember, I'm not giving health or medical advice. I'm just relaying some of the findings of some of these studies, which you can look into yourself. Now I think this article is probably one of the best uh, sources on hydrogen. It's a compilation of how hydrogen mitigates disease in the body. It reviews the basic research and the latest clinical applications of hydrogen gas in multi-organ system diseases. The paper is massive. It has almost 200 different re references, so doing it justice would take way more time than we have here today, but I highly encourage you to look into it. In short, the conclusion was that hydrogen can alleviate the damage in multiple organ diseases and is completely safe to use. So if you're going to do more research on hydrogen after watching this, which I hope that you do, that's a great article to start with. So why is it so effective? Again, back to its capacity as a selective antioxidant, consistent oxidative stress can lead to chronic inflammation, which in turn could seed the most chronic diseases, including cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular issues, neurological and pulmonary diseases, and so many more. Inflammation is at the heart of so much. Now this process can damage cell structures, including lipids, proteins, and DNA, but we don't have to worry because hydrogen reduces toxic oxygen radicals. And this is why hydration is the best protection against inflammation. Inflammation comes from the Latin inflammatio, meaning literally to set on fire. Fires start in dry conditions. How do you put out a fire? 
you hydrate it, you can put water on it. Inflammation is just a form of dehydration. And to hydrate more effectively, we want more hydrogen in our water. Any disease ending in itis means a disease characterized by inflammation. So for example, myocarditis. Inflammation-based diseases are caused by, or at least worsened by, reactive oxygen species, those free radicals we were talking about before. So hydrogen is maybe the most efficient thing in the universe at dealing with reactive oxygen species. And personally, I just love how generously and lovingly water is able to do so because hydrogen doesn't attack free radicals. It just generously and lovingly gives them extra electrons. It binds with their oxygens. The hydrogen binds with the extra oxygens of the oxygen free radicals to become water, to become liquid life, to hydrate your body when you're in a state of inflammation. There are also some amazing studies showing hydrogen's effectiveness with cancer and its ability to protect from the negative side effects of various chemotherapy drugs. And unlike conventional anti-tumor drugs, it has no side effects. Now again, this is not medical advice, but the papers here are pretty clear. Across the board, on hundreds of diseases for which hydrogen has been tested, it's proven to be a panacea. Now here's another incredible study. So just to name a few, we have the prevention of lung injury, amelioration of liver toxicity, reversal of skin damage, and body weight loss caused by chemotherapy, prevention of renal injury, tumor growth suppression, cancer stem cells inhibition, amelioration of cardiac dysfunction, reversal of kidney toxicity that is often induced by chemo, survival rate enhancement, et cetera, et cetera. Groundbreaking, beautiful results. This should be in every oncology ward. And it would make sense, right? Hydrogen would be a panacea. We are bodies of water. And so of course, hydrogen, the foundation of hydration would be therapeutic, right? It makes sense. It's at the heart of everything in the universe. It's the most common element in the universe. And again, as Nobel winner Albert St. Georgie said, it is the fuel of life. Therefore, it's the fuel of your cellular energy, your ATP, which is what structures your intracellular fluid. It fuels your healing and recover. recovery. In fact, it's often used by athletes for a quick recovery. So even though we can see its incredible effects on different disease pathways, you don't have to be sick or in pain to see the benefits of using hydrogen. It can be used preventatively. I'm healthy as a horse and I use it daily. I love it. It gives me energy and focus and, and increased clarity and immunity and recovery after my workouts and just overall resilience. And I know it's an investment in my health down the road because it keeps me consistently well. It keeps my mitochondria consistently functioning at their highest level of voltage, keeps my cells super juicy and hydrated and well-structured. And I also notice spiritual effects, which I'm not going to go into here, but maybe I'll do another video on this topic. So comment below if you'd like to hear more about the spiritual side of hydrogen. Okay, now let's talk about the best ways to suffuse hydrogen into your water. Now, again, you want to steer clear of alkalizing ionizers and electrolysis machines like Kangen and some of those similar brands, anything that directly electrolyzes your drinking water. It's electrocuting the water, no bueno, destroys the structure, it's traumatizing to the water. There are much better methods and they're actually much more affordable than something like Kangen as well. So I think that these are the main considerations to think of when you're choosing how to use hydrogen. Safety, completeness, convenience, and economics. These are the four things to consider when choosing your device. Now personally, based on all of my research, I looked on everything on the market and there are only two that I actually wholeheartedly endorse as the best based on each of these considerations. And again, do your own research, find what works best for you. But this is what I particularly endorse. So the first one is the best option if you need a full and complete system that also includes water filtration. It's called the Spring Aqua Wet 7. It's available at waterislife.shop and it filters, structures, remineralizes, energizes, and suffuses the water with high therapeutic doses of molecular hydrogen without electrolysis. In fact, there's no electricity and through it at all. It just mimics the geology of a natural spring right underneath your sink. So if you need a water filter as well, this is the best of the best. It's my favorite water filter out there. The second option is if you already have some form of filtration and some form of water structuring and you just want the additional molecular hydrogen in your water. So this is what you would use after your water is already filtered. In that case, you want to go with the Lord's Hydrofix, which is also available at waterislife.shop. Now first, I just want to clear up a couple of misconceptions because safety is so important. And there's so much misinformation out there about hydrogen generators in general because 
they're completely unregulated. This is an unregulated market. And in a marketplace where everyone seems to want products that cost less and do more, that tends to lead to a race to the bottom. And so there's a lot of swag products on the market that do more harm than good. If you get a hydrogen generator, it must use dual chamber electrolysis if it uses electrolysis at all. Again, don't directly electrolyze your drinking water. Most electrolyzers leach metals. A lot of the factories overseas are manufacturing dangerous products with poor quality metals that get into the drinking water. The, so the spring aqua uses no electrolysis at all, but suffuses the water with hydrogen using a natural type of magnesium. And then the Lord's Hydrofix uses electrolysis through the dual chamber method. So it has a separate chamber of water, not your drinking water, that it electrolyzes. And then it channels that hydrogen gas into your bottles of drinking water. So that just means that the water being electrolyzed to create the hydrogen is not the same as the water that you're going to drink. So that's really something to look out for when you're finding your perfect hydrogen method. And again, direct electrolysis destroys the molecular structure of the water. It can also create other gases other than just H2, and it can leach metals from the machine into the water. You especially don't want to inhale directly electrolyzed water. That's really bad news, or directly electrolyzed H2 gas from the water. There's a lot more I could go into there, but suffice it to say for now, avoid the, the small portable machines and any of these cheap electrolyzers out there. They always get heavy metals into the water. These portable ionizing bottles, no bueno. And because breathing in hydrogen gas is so therapeutic, you want to be extra careful about the metals that are used in the process. So it's important that in the chamber of water that is being electrolyzed, if it's a dual chamber method, it has to use medical grade titanium. So the Lord's Hydrofix uses medical grade titanium. You don't have to worry about cheap breathing in cheap metals. All those cheap machines use cheap metals that leach into your water or into the gas. So if you're going to be drinking hydrogen water for the long term or breathing in hydrogen gas, please do not poison yourself with these these quick fixes that destructure, denature, and traumatize the water may do more harm than good, honestly. Now, some hydrogen machines use chemicals or lye, and this is even worse than direct electrolysis. So be careful. There are a lot of machines out there that are a little more than just blow torches that burn chemicals to produce hydrogen. Imagine breathing in lye. So they make hydrogen, yes, but they also make gross off gases too. And people often ask me about the hydrogen tablets that dissolve into water. And I do have a good brand of those available on Waters Life Dot Shop too. But mostly I see those as a good option just for when you're traveling or you're out and about and just as kind of a, a convenience when you don't have your real hydrogen water available because about 60% of the hydrogen that dissolves in the water with the tablets doesn't even get absorbed by your body. So it's just not an extremely effective therapeutic dose. But when you're on the road or when you're in a pinch or when you're still saving up for a spring aqua or a Lord's Hydrofix or whatever you choose to get for your mainstay hydrogen staple, then yes, those tablets can be good in the meantime. Um, they're just not a good long-term solution because look, hydrogen water can get expensive, right? If you're planning on using it for your whole life as you know, a hydration insurance method, at a dollar a tablet, maybe five tablets a day and five glasses of water, that's like $1,800 per person per year. If you have a family of four that you're trying to keep healthy in this way, that's over seven grand per year. And you would still be missing out on being able to inhale the hydrogen if you did it that way and pouring 60% of that money away because 60% of the hydrogen from the tablets doesn't fully absorb into the body. Now, look, I like them. I use them. I keep them in my gym bag. But at home, I have a Spring Aqua and a Lord's Hydrofix. So the Spring Aqua, again, has amaz amazing filtration. It's only $4,200, so it's cheaper than a Kangen. The Lord's Hydrofix, if you already have another filter set up, is $2,400. And actually, you can use the coupon code WATERISLIFE on both of them to get them even cheaper. That code will work on both options. Now, really, they both just have an impeccable standard of excellence, which is why they're the ones that I picked out of all the research. I looked at everything on the market. I've been studying water since 2009, and I'm very, very picky about hydration because I know for a fact that hydration equates directly with cellular voltage, which equates directly with health. Water is life, and so hydration is health. And this matters, not just physical health, but mental, emotional, and spiritual health as well. They're all intertwined that mind-body-spirit connection. Water is what links the mind, body, and spirit. So before choosing a byproduct to actually endorse, again, I did a ton of research, not just into the quality of the water that they produce, but also into the history and the integrity of the companies themselves as well. So don't take it from me again. I welcome you and invite you to do your own research. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'm pretty confident you'll come back to these two as being among the best, if not the best as well. So of course, as with all my content, nothing in this video constitutes medical advice, 
um, definitely talk to your doctor, your naturopathic doctor. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe and to share this if you learned something new. Have a beautiful day and stay hydrated.